I also would like to apologize you, me, us for my hair. I wanted to make something more pink, but then it just turned into this cherry red kind of thing that I need. So please don't look at my hair. I would really appreciate that. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> This is Gabby again. In today's video, I set myself a challenge. I am going to London for my birthday this weekend. That's Friday. My birthday is on Sunday. And I decided that I need to make, that I want a crochet bag to take with me to wear with my outfits. I haven't chosen yet. But I was like, I have been wearing this one way too much and even though it looks good with almost all the outfits I have it is still way too boring at this point so I want to make a new one and that also has this color um I don't know how many granny squares I need if you don't know what a granny square is I'll tell you they are small square shaped crochet motifs that serve as building blocks for countless creative projects these delightful squares are made using basic crochet stitches like double crochet or treble crochet and are worked in the round. Uh -huh. I don't know the design that I will be making at the end, but I'm gonna try anyways. And I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and a bit of Friday to finish this bag. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it, but I'm gonna try it. So for this video, of course, I'm gonna need some yarn and a hook. But to begin with, I'm just gonna start making them anyways. And I will think about later um, how I'm gonna put them together and how I want them to look like. The first day for this uh, granny square that we'll be making is the magic circle. This is how you, you do this like little part here in the middle and then you develop the rest. Just to be clear, this is not a tutorial, but I'm just trying to show a little bit of the process of uh, how these uh, granny squares will be made. And um, this is the first step, okay? This is the first thing I have to get through. I think I got it for now. Um, basically, you have to follow like some sort of pattern doing the same thing like four times because you have 12 stitches. I don't know how to say that. And you have to do that. And then after that, we'll figure it out. But for now, we already have a little bit of our flower being created. I think that's the wrong type. A little bit of our flower being created, which is a good thing. So I think we're doing the right thing here. I think it's getting there. So if I keep like this, like remembering, we'll be able to make a lot of granny squares. And that's a good thing. I have it. Eight paddle, baby. Eight paddle, baby. Uh -huh. Okay, now we're gonna start. I don't know why I keep saying we're. I'm gonna start making the square part. So pray for me. Uh, so I finished the first one. I'm gonna start making like 13. Maybe I should have strategize how many granny squares I need. I already did two and I'm gonna keep doing them. I'm not, I'm not gonna be filming this because it's boring. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow and yeah tomorrow we'll be back. Maybe feeling a little bit better of my exist existential crisis.
And these are the results. Clearly, I loved what I did. So, yeah, cool, cool. I am ready. Last night, she said, I can't believe I am quoting the strokes. I hate them. Um, I made some one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight granny squares. Haha. <laughs> and I have to keep doing them today. Um, so basically the plan is, what's the plan again? The plan is to finish this today. Like, I don't know how many I need to make, to be honest. I think I need to make like... If I have eight, I think I need at least eight more. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to put them back together yet. I don't think it's going to be like the other one I have. So I haven't decided. I'm just going to make some and see what happens. But uh, tomorrow I hope I'll have all of them done and I hope tomorrow I'll be able to put like to make this trap <laughs> So that's the plan. The plan is to do this and we're going to do this. And I hope by Friday I will have it. So I have basically three days to finish this. I think it's plenty of time, but um, yeah, circumstances. My hair is a little bit less like cherry, cherry red kind of thing. It's more like ginger, but it is way better now. I'm not a huge fan of this like dark red kind of thing, but it is going to fade and everything will be fine again. I have to stop talking now and do this because otherwise I'm never going to finish, so bye! I just set myself the impossible goal ever. Like, it's impossible. Now I realize I might not be able to finish this bag by Thursday evening. And I say this because I created a pattern in my head, but I have... This is the front of the bag pattern I created. And like, of course, this, this will be the front. And these spaces here, I have to crochet the, the space in between, make it like bigger. So that would be, what, two centimeters each? I'm not sure, but I think so. At the bottom would be like this, you know, like when you do something like, like this and you create like a... This would be the length. Um, okay. And I need to do on the sides. So that would basically be 17 more. 17 granny squares more. I don't think I can. <laughs> so yeah, I will have my scone right now. And uh, I know that I have 17 granny squares left to make. Which means I have to say goodbye to you guys. Also because the battery of my camera is dying. Um, I'll do as much as I can today and hope I will do way more than half. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow with the next step. And um, it's time to go. <laughs> this is a super delicious cone, like fresh, fresh cone. I decided to cut in half and put a, bit, a little bit of the Nutella that was left in the pot because my husband ate it all. I love them, they're really, really good. Looks like a long time has gone by. A really long time, but actually this is just my friend Karina. That's how I named her. And she will be in some videos. I've been having issues with my greasy hair and I've decided to do something about it. So in a few videos, 
I'll be wearing Karina. Anywho, um, I finished the granny squares, but I only have this of yarn left and I still have to make the straps. And I also have to make the granny squares a bit bigger. So then the back doesn't, doesn't look like too narrow. So I gave up on that idea and I'm just going to attach the sides the way the sides are. And this is how it's going to be. But I, I still think I have enough yarn to make it uh, look a bit, like, wide. Pray for me. Pray for me. I, was, I was trying to make like a, a mix of Wait For Me by Kings of Leah and Pray For Me instead of Wait For Me. And I think in my, in my, in my head kind of worked, so I don't know. So I think the strategy I'm gonna make here is to make them look like the size that I need, which is basically one and a half centimeters um, bigger. It's just like doing a bunch of double crochets. <laughs> I made the first one and this is how it's looking like in the moment compared to its normal size. I think this will do. This will do what we need and I'm very happy about it. And every time you roll the dice, we drink to your health. We capitalize on your condition and look, you pay the price. Now look, you pay the price. It is only day 979 after, since I started this, this, this bag. And on the last day, basically the last day I have to finish this so then I can use, I can wear this bag for my birthday in London, I realized that I ran out of yarn. Yeah. And then I went to Amazon and then I ordered some to be delivered on the next day, which is today, but they say they will be delivering by 10 p.m. I kind of cannot wait for that. So as you guys can see here, I have everything. I already have this side. The and I was making the other side. So this is when my yarn ran over. So I have basically this amount left. And I also need to make like a little bit on top so then it doesn't go straight out of this. And yeah, so they're all like not together or anything. And I don't have any yarn to sew them together. So basically what I did, I went to YouTube and I looked for a tutorial of how to make like an invisible stitch uh, while joining the, the pieces. And then it's called, it's called a mattress stitch and I can literally use any color I have available. Everything's falling apart, so I'll do what I can. I still don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish because I still travel today. Um, I have to stop in an hour, so I have basically an hour and a half-ish to finish this bag, if I'm going to finish. I still have to pack and I still have to go to the airport. So, like, everything is going crazy right now, so I shouldn't be filming this, but I will be using the camera, this camera up here, to show all the process and might be doing a voiceover just to explain whatever I'm doing. And yeah. So basically explaining what I'm doing there after like putting all the, the sides together and sewing all the granny squares together, I basically had to like get the the, the fabric that I'm gonna put on the inside. And I just like created like an outline so then I know uh, basically the size that I need to put in the bag. So I have to do that and then I have to cut that and I have to place that like on the inside of the bag using some pins to pin them together to start sewing. This is a very like important uh, part of the process because otherwise it just, you are gonna have 
a lot of stuff uh, placed in places where they shouldn't be. And that's basically the process of that part specifically. Coming back from the future to talk about the end of the back journey. Basically what happened is that I wanted to finish the bag um, by Thursday evening but I came across the fact that that was humanly impossible. I couldn't do it because it was already um, almost 1am um, of Friday and I still had the, the, the trap to make and I needed to like finish the, one of the sides and the top or something like that, I don't remember. That was a week ago. And yeah, I had to finish the bag in the morning, which means um, I had to make the strap, um, this part here, like from the, the, the top, the sides, that was all like between, I don't know if it's focusing. Um, that was all on Thursday. This was basically the last things I needed to, to finish the bag. And of course, like adding a, a, this, I still don't know how to call it. And yeah, so I finished the bag around 12.30 on Friday and I only had one hour to get ready to fly to London, but it worked. I finished the bag. This is the bag, analyzed, really nice. I mean, I am very happy with it. Like it was really hard to make this bag um, in such a short per period of time because uh, this is my second bag. I've never, like, I've, I've made the other bag, this one here is bag, and I really love this bag. Um, I learned a lot of new things that I ha helped me to make this bag, like a lot of mistakes that I made with that one that I didn't do in this one. Just set myself the goal to finish this bag in um, four or five days-ish, and I did, and I'm very happy about it. But I would like to make something next time with a little bit of time and more care because I really do care about how good it looks because if I'm showing this to people out there and I'm like, I want you to look and say like, oh my god, that's so pretty, oh my god, that's so well made, and eh, I want that because I want to sell it at some point, right? So thank you very much for watching this video, this crazy journey of me <laughs> making a bag in, in less than a week. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. If you want to share, you can share. I don't know. Um, and also follow me on my social media. And go on Pinterest. Pinterest is a nice one. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and 